Hi, I'm Dave Gledhill. Uh, for the last nine years, I've been the CIO of DBS Bank uh, in Asia. We're a leading financial institution in Asia, covering everything from consumer through corporate to treasury and markets. We have around 22,000 employees, and our big base is Singapore. We're in Hong Kong. We're expanding in China, Indonesia, and India. We won Asia's best bank, uh, and also Euromoney last year awarded DBS with the world's best digital bank, which we're super proud of. Uh, it's one of the first times that Euromoney has ever awarded a global award to a bank in Asia. So a few years ago, DBS really saw the opportunity and, and, and frankly the need to transform into a much more of a digital play. We saw our new competitors as being not really traditional banks, but more the fintech startups that are using their huge scale to break into the banking industry. Uh, if we could not rethink ourselves digitally and rethink how we could expand at scale without the traditional uh, physical presence of banks. We realized we'd just be become maybe a, a service pipe and not really relevant to our customers of the future. We, some time ago, felt that cloud will win. And so if cloud is going to win, the sooner we get to cloud, the better. And the quicker that's going to enable us to do this big transformation that we have at, at DBS. AWS is clearly ahead in terms of scale uh, and some of the innovation and the reach that it has. However, we see AWS as a key enabler to really driving the change that we want to see at DBS. First of all, there is its scale, uh, and scale matters as we move to the cloud. But more importantly was the number of services and capabilities that it was building out. That's the real attraction to us. And we see that the AWS capability and the partner network is just so much bigger and broader that there are going to be more things to use, more capabilities faster than other cloud providers, we believe. We're really pushing very hard uh, to get a number of workloads on AWS. A couple of the key things we're doing is to move all of our public uh, website assets to AWS. That's about 50% of all of our customer traffic, so it's very, very significant. It's more than just a website. It provides um, support to underlying internet banking applications and, and other things. So it's a really significant workload uh, which will move over the next year or so. Another thing is to look at uh, compute power, grid compute power. Uh, that project will probably go live towards the end of this year. Uh, and then moving forward, we're really interested in the data analytics capabilities that AWS has. We think by the end of 2018, and we'll have at least 50% of our workload in the public cloud. We see AWS as a big part of our reinvention. And why? because we want to create this 22,000 person startup. And we want those people to have access to the best, the most advanced, the most cutting edge tools. And so some of the capabilities provided on the AWS give us exactly that. So for example, we're experimenting with AWS Lambda and how that can help us in our internet banking uh, uh, transactions. We're looking at machine learning and some of the deep learning. We're looking at some of the chatbot capability. So all of these things really allow our people to experiment and try and test and learn, which is exactly what we wanted to create as a culture at DBS. One recent thing that we did with AWS was what we call DBS Hack to Hire. That entire platform was built using AWS. We had 12,000 applicants and hundreds of people came and built some crazy good products using AWS toolset. AWS is opening a bunch of new doors for us. It's allowing us to experiment, it's allowing us to grow, it's giving us access to some of the most advanced technology tools uh, on the planet to, to play with and experiment with. It's helping us in training. It's helping us shift the mindset of this 22,000 person startup. So on all of these fronts, AWS has been a fabulous partner to us. We see ourselves as becoming invisible to the customers. That means frictionless and, and effort free. So some of the things that AWS is building for us uh, and some of the tools that we're consuming help with that frictionless banking of experiencing DBS without having the effort of going to DBS to experience us.